happy March 2022. Hopefully the last month went well for you. Shortened month, um, February. It's one of the short ones. Didn't stop us from getting a lot done. You're still eating? That's fair. Uh, we are a couple minutes after, so I think we can just go ahead and get going. I see a few new faces here. Uh, just a reminder, this is the web user group. If you have questions, uh, I will take them. Um, if I can't answer them, I'm so sorry. Um, but just so we're, we're clear, I can only really answer questions about the front end web stuff. Uh, so if you have particularly governance related questions, uh, viewer related questions, those are usually things that I, I'm not qualified to answer. So I won't try. That being said, uh, let's just go ahead and get going. Um, so I will probably make this one a little bit shorter than normal um, because it was a, a shortened month and I just came back from vacation. So I'm actually also catching up myself. Um, but uh, a little bit of a update on a couple of the projects that we've been talking about for the last few months here. Um, the marketplace, what used to be the marketplace variants project, we are now calling marketplace styles. Um, so if you remember what we were talking about there, uh, we had been doing all of the backend work. I'm pleased to announce that that is mostly complete and we have just today uh, approved uh, the front end work. So think uh, within the next couple of months, we should actually see um, this actually coming to the grid in ways that y'all can see and interact with. So expect more updates as we get closer. But I'm looking forward to being able to actually start showing stuff off here in the next few months um, and really kind of the next month, month and a half. So that's very, very exciting. Uh, the other big uh, project that we've been talking about in this group um, is the search relevance uh, stuff. And we have all of the expertise that we have been talking about going out and hiring uh, that has now been hired and plans have been made. And we're starting to move forward on those things as well. Uh, so also, looking forward to showing that off potentially next month or the month after. Uh, so a lot of really fun things have happened, even though it was a, a short month. Um, it was a very productive month for our team. And more importantly, some really cool stuff coming, uh, no longer just soon, but in fact, like next month, that kind of soon. Already in with the questions, okay. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. I'm looking at these. Yes, I think uh, without getting into the the details of um, how that will work, uh, Ghost, I think it's largely yes. That's uh, will more or less work. I mean, you'll have to set it up yourself, but yeah. Uh, let's see here. Moving forward, some of the, the things that we're looking at that are new. Um, actually, it's not really new, right? So we've been talking about Premium Plus. Uh, I know everybody is very excited to hear more about that. And I'm also excited to announce that that news should also be coming this month. Um, so we've, we've nailed all the things down and we are starting work on, um, completing all of the work there. So while I cannot, Lucy, answer exactly what it's going to be today, I am happy to tell you that by the time we talk next, you should have most of your answers for that. It will be released. No feature scope creep at the moment. I've been ruthless trying to keep it. Keep it down. I'm very pleased with the the um, the progress that we've made as a team.
Uh, Draconis, I'm looking at your question here. Would it ever be possible to sort your marketplace order history by total spend? Um, possibly. Uh, that that seems like a, a decent feature request that you could potentially put in. I would listen to that. Someone just, uh, I was talking to someone earlier and they were saying that they buy a lot of freebie things or cheap things and then they, they have one thing that they spend a lot of money on and they want to be able to go back and find that easily, but they can't if they just... With the three searches that they have right yeah no i i'm generally in favor of giving uh more power to sort and filter uh from the data that we already provide that is and yes kali from a uh, shopper perspective yeah that's it's typically easier to give you more options with uh information that we're already giving than you know giving new information uh, I many caveats there. Sometimes it's very much not easy to do that, but in this scenario, uh, as a general general rule, I like giving more options. So yeah, I would look very favorably on a future request of, to that order. Please submit. Okay. Uh, Ghost, I see a second question there. Is there any talk of further securing the current media data breach that's causing creators to have their money stolen? Um, I can't speak to that. That's on the server side. Um, I haven't, I mean, I'm not in those conversations. So I honestly, I don't know. Probably. And I definitely wasn't here yesterday, whatever yesterday means. Oh, I see. Don't know. Uh, Mars, will sales tax be charged to California residents as SL being virtual would seem to be non-taxable? Mars, uh, we are um, looking, so sales tax is not being applied across the board um, as a single entity. It is dependent on the, uh, the jurisdiction that you're in. So if you are in say California and that is non-taxable, then you will not be charged sales tax for that particular item. Um, and the lawyers are the ones that decide that, not me. So you're in as good a hands as you could possibly be there. But to answer the larger question, yes, we have taken that into account. Uh, our, our tax implementation will be jurisdiction dependent. That's all for my updates, by the way. So as I said, short and sweet. I exist now as a punching bag. Ask me all your questions. Was there any talk about the um, the different versions or different brands of a store? Is that any going anywhere? Uh, so I know that we had spoken about that uh, last month, um, and the it, it sounded like something that we as a group would really love to do. Um, so that's kind of a scoping exercise now for me and my team. Um, I would say that without being too, uh, without to being too um, cute about it, uh, yes, that will happen and no, I don't know when, um, but not soon. But it's definitely something I would like to see. Uh, I just know that it's, it's a fairly um, large project, and our our roadmap for the marketplace is already pretty full for this year. Is 
Zircos asks, will there be a way to host marketplace web-based sale events? Uh, what do you mean by host? Like in-world events? Okay. So like sale events on on the web? Just, you know, like, hey, this is my this is my store. I'd like to apply a twenty five percent discount across the board for this weekend only. Something along those lines. Oh, with other creators. Oh, interesting. Um I don't have any plans for that currently, uh, but I think that that's an interesting idea. Uh, that might be something to submit as a feature request. Yeah, I think that's I think that is definitely there's some interesting possibilities there. But no, there's no current plans for that. Something to think about for the future. Yeah, I think that would be very, I think that would be pretty cool. I like that idea. I encourage submission. There's the um, sorting by total spent Jira. Thanks, Draconis. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Uh, so we triage all uh, future requests every Wednesday. So we will uh, see that. We will see it. We look at them every week. Well, okay, fine. Not the Wednesday that nobody's around. I would just like to say I, I appreciate you updating the wiki to be HTTPS for those who aren't logged in and to add the syntax highlighting back in, too. Yeah. Hey, so that's a good point. Uh, I had forgotten about that. Thanks for bringing that up. So previously in this space, I had said, oof, yeah, wiki, oof. Yeah, we're not working on that. And then very sneakily, someone went around behind my back and updated the wiki. <laughs> it was great. Uh, so I can't even take credit for it. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, brand new wiki. It's all happy. It does all the things now. And it is now updatable on our end fairly, uh, fairly easily. So if you have more feature requests for the wiki, uh, send them at us. I'm, I'm no longer looking at them with uh, a side eye. I mean, I, I would still like to be able to have edit access, but that's just me. Yeah, I can't give you that. That's a permissions thing. That's not a feature request. Yeah. Lucy has that correctly. Talk to Alexa. Okay. Yeah, Lucy, you're not wrong. It literally happened like the week after I said, yeah, we don't support that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, all right, <laughs> fair enough. That's a good question from a freight there. I'm reading it right now. No grumpy today. Sorry, slingshot. Just me. Um, so community categories, uh, the web team doesn't specifically own those. That being said, if you have a particular category that you think is missing, um, I would definitely request that as a, as a feature request. Um, we probably can add new categories, I think. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to promise anything that's not actually possible because, like I say, we don't own this. Um, but 
the the team that does is usually fairly responsive to that kind of stuff. Yeah, hey Lucy, about the destination guide, that's actually on our roadmap of stuff to uh, clean up and redesign. That's that's more in my, my trademarked coming soon list. But we hear your, your complaint there and share it. It's a bit wonky at the moment. Uh, Dantia, uh, the built-in web search is not good. Can you use more words? Not good how? How would you like it to be changed? Not Dantia, but uh, a thing that I used to miss from, and it still exists in Firestorm for like places search, is you could kind of just look at places with the highest traffic, which is interesting. I don't know if that's still a thing that you can do when you type something in, like to, to look for stuff. Uh, I don't know if we can sort by traffic directly. Because the old system that for search did that. Uh, Dantia, so I, I hear what you're saying. I, I will reiterate, it is more useful if you can tell me how you would change it to be more appealing or more intuitive. Uh, just saying that it is not appealing is not actually an actual thing that I can work on. Uh, Slingshot, okay, are web profiles ever going to disappear? The answer is not entirely, but essentially yes. That is on the roadmap. Mm, good call, Pantera. Thanks. So, yes, it, it does have the ability to let you search or sort by traffic, but it doesn't show you what the traffic number actually is. So, I know when you're looking uh. at the actual numbers, if you go to like the last couple pages, it's zero sometimes, and you might even go to a place that doesn't even exist anymore. 
I could have sworn that we were still including that traffic number. It should still be it, in there. It might be used, but I don't th think it's exposed to the user. Not, I guess that's what I was thinking, was that it was still exposed oh, to Oh, you have to click on the individual listing to see the traffic, okay. Yeah, in the expanded view. Yeah. Personally, I think it would be more helpful if it was in the minimized view, but... <laughs> there, you yeah, know. It's helpful to... Like, it, you have to be pretty experienced for it to mean anything. Uh, so it seems to clutter for new users. Okay. Uh, Dr. Hidal, um, I feel for you here. Um, the problem is reviews are, uh, there to help the buyer, um, or a prospective buyer. And, um, if we give a blanket ability for sellers to hide or disable customer reviews, um, in many cases for, you know, well acting buyer or sellers, this might be a feature, but for some bad actors, it might actually be uh, not great. It would just get abused. So um, unfortunately, a blanket ability to simply hide or disable customer reviews on a product will probably not happen. That being said, uh, I'm certainly open to uh, suggestions on ways to make um, things a little bit more equitable um, and useful for, for sellers. Lucy, uh, you say you would rather reflect relevance that yields visitation. I agree. We are working on that very thing for relevance, particularly with regards to the destination guide. Uh, down voting or, or up voting review. I mean, possible. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't hate that idea, um, which I know is is kind of a backhanded backhanded support. Um, it's it's worth adding a, f a feature request. I'd have to think about it. I I think Lucy's not wrong here. That kind of thing can be farmed. We make it so easy to create accounts um, that there's no pr there's no functional limit on the number of upvotes or downvotes that you could as a single human uh, put into a into something would also be kind of open what if you made it so that you had to have pay info to leave a the rate okay. the review that could be a myth that I don't I don't think that's terrible that's possible it's an option um, it, it further reinforces kind of the um, the 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 what is the word I want to use here? I don't know, like rich versus poor uh, with regards to Second Life user ship user base. But I mean, it, it is a store, though. It's a it's literally a marketplace. Like it's mm -hmm. it, I can yeah, see that. There's... But because the marketplace is Linden Dollar only, um, and there's lots of people that receive linen dollars that don't have payment myth info on True. Trial. but I, I take your point it's it's a it's a potential speed bump that we could throw in there and it's not necessarily a super open to abuse one i'm just not sure it's as egalitarian as we'd like to be i mean i appreciate that mindset Uh, 
Uh, Yamako, I am reading your question now. Uh, yeah, okay, so linking to social media, you know, third party social media sites um, with regards to both the marketplace and, and largely, that's something that we have uh, investigated in the past. We've, we've had some, frankly, half assed implementations of it uh, elsewhere. I mean, I'm with you. I think that's something that we should potentially reinvestigate. Uh, so the door is not closed on that. Uh, at the moment, there is no particular um, action item on our roadmap to, uh, to make that happen. But I'm not closing the door on that at all. Uh, if you have a specific thing that you'd like to see, for example, being able to link your store to, I don't know, Discord, um, I would highly recommend that you submit that as a feature request. Pantera, yeah, I'm, I'm also a Steam user, I am aware. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of, well, it works over there, you know, these people do it, right? I mean, I'm sure we all had the mother that said, yeah, but if those people jumped off a cliff, would you do it too? Um, I mean, just because that's, that's the way Steam does it uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's the way that we should do things. But, yeah, I take your point. Steam's a big platform. Ghost, I would too. The problem that we run into things like that is that every time you implement something like that, there's someone who does that specifically, right? There's a Flickr or, or an Imgur out there um, that uh, implements it so much better than we could because that's, that's quite literally their entire uh, product profile. Whereas for us, it's just a, you know, a little additional thing that somebody took a flyer on. Um, and so, <laughs> you know, it, it inevitably draws comparisons of like, ugh, you know, look at this crap. You know, this is terrible. Um, you know, what is LL even doing? Just use Flickr. Um, and honestly, that's not, not a bad argument. <laughs> so while I would also love to have an area, area dedicated, um, on the SL web that is just for photo sharing, um, I worry that by doing so, you know, we are opening ourselves up to comparisons against people who do this very professionally. Um, you know, billion dollar industries, the billion dollar companies that do this. And that's the only thing that they do. And that's a, that's a tough comparison. I agree, Ghost. I agree. Photo contest for fun would be nice. I had a question about web profiles and the, whether they may or may not be going away. I think, if I remember correctly, when they were being implemented, it was a third-party company that Linden Lab hired, and they implemented some sort of like MongoDB background for it. I was wondering if that was like going to stay. Because the reason I'm asking is because a long time ago, I was asking about the ability to detect specific group and there was some intersection between using the scripting engine, which I know this is not the scope of the meeting, and profiles where it was like because of the way web profiles were set up, it made it much harder to do. 
Uh, what's so? What's the question there? Is is web profiles on MongoDB? I guess, and if like they go away, is that going away too? Um, no. So the the intention is to keep um, all of the the information that's currently being stored for web profiles, uh, so that that can be accessed through the viewer profile. Oh, okay. Um, in particular, things like the feed. Um, we we want to maintain, uh, but yes, uh, I mean to kind of answer the oblique question there. It will require some sort of migration of that data. Nice. Yeah. Asking oblique questions, and I appreciate the answer. Uh, Nia, Naya? Let's go with Naya. Um, ordering search results by number of current users. I, I assume you, when you say search results, you mean like actual locations, um, you know, places. Uh, is absolutely was discussed uh, amongst LL, uh, being the representative of LL. Um, why has this never come? Uh, the only thing I can tell you there is stay tuned. Never is a strong word. Um, and is it desired by LL? Yes, it is. And do you think this would help newbies find other people to interact with? Yes, we do. Hint, hint, hint. Hopefully that answered your questions. Uh, ghost, yes. Uh, on our on our roadmap is overhaul of destination guide. I agree. It is difficult to find active places. I would I would say that the same is true of events. Finding events that are active is also equally difficult. Mm -hmm. I I will happily tell you that events overhaul is also on our roadmap for, you know, much of the same reasons. Um, and and to be more candid here, and and to speak to kind of a, a wider strategy, uh, we are very much looking at the new user experience um, from from tip to tail. So things like okay. How, how hard is it? How easy is it? How fun is it to create an avatar, to create a new account? And then once you've done so, how hard is it? How easy is it? How fun is it to go do fun things in SL, which is, you know, for example, find people that are doing other fun things, right? Like that's, that's what we do here. Um, you know, certainly there is a number of activities that you can do by yourself, but, um, you know, largely what we want, particularly for new users, is to go find things that, you know, people that are doing things that they might enjoy. Um, so making it easier for them to find active events, for example, active regions, uh, is very high on our priority list. Good questions, good questions. And nice to see that your questions are aligned with what we're already, already looking at. Yeah, it goes to the, the 40 bots on your sim to game game those results. That's tough. Uh, you know, that's that's something we're gonna have to figure out how to deal with. Um, good news is, you know, we've been we've been working on how to deal with that for a long time. Um, but it's you know, it's a it's an arms race. It always is. Uh, when we close one loophole, people find others. So you just kind of have to keep keep closing loopholes. We won't ever close all of them. That I can say with certainty.
Uh, okay, so there's a, there's a lot of talk about how to fix traffic numbers here. Um, I will say that 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 is absolutely beyond the scope of um, <laughs> the, the the team that I'm representing today. Um, while I agree with you, traffic is a weird and potentially not useful number at the moment. Uh, I I also I can't give you any promises or even really comment um, effectively on what would be an improvement to traffic numbers. Uh, I can tell you how we might use those traffic numbers going forward, uh, but actually changing how they're calculated phew, above my head. Yeah, Lucy, I agree. I mean, it, traffic's just one of those weird, it's just one of those weird things that, you know, every time you poke at it, you say, oh, this is awful, but then say, oh, but wait, hold on. It's good for this. Um, and coming up with viable alternatives that don't have just as bad or worse, you know, downsides and implications to them has been thorny. Um, but that's not to suggest that we're not still looking, uh, and we're certainly open to suggestions. So if you're holding on to a suggestion that you think is a good one, submit it. Do you, as a front-end web um, thing, do you deal with the SL map at all? Or is that under your scope or no? Yeah, maps within scope. Or I should say maps.secondlife.com is within scope. Okay. Yeah, that is true. Um, very often uh, it will go to someone's um, in-world store page on the marketplace and then click on their map link and it'll show an image of a place that's not there, but you can see it, it looks like it is, and it'll even give you the link to teleport there even though it doesn't work. I'm not sure. I have theories on why that behavior may be true. Um, so I know we we garbage collect regions 
um, uh, on a on a remove, um, right? So if you've if the if the region has been deactivated, uh, it does not necessarily immediately get thrown in the trash um, and arch and you know deleted. It's uh, but I don't know exactly what that time frame is. So it's possible that what's happened there is that you're just kind of in the middle of that region has been deactivated but not completely deleted, uh, and the the system that is deciding whether or not that region still exists, uh, because it does still technically, and I'm using my air quotes, exist uh, on the grid, just kind of in a deactivated state, might not be smart enough to realize that that's true. It's a theory. I don't know that that's the case. Mm -hmm. That uh, that actually is a good question for the, the server uh, user group, to be quite oh, honest. Because okay. um, that's, that's more about the data that's being presented to the the map application as opposed to the map application itself doing weird wonky things. Uh, Lucy, I am reading about my my reviews. Uh, okay, so you would like an actual reviews page. I'm sorry that our attempt to solve was not quite enough for you. Uh, and I don't mean that backhandedly. I, I, am, I do apologize. We did try to solve that for you. Um, I think it's, it's possible that we could maybe get an actual page. I'll bring it up to the team. Uh, Tantia, <laughs> can we have the option to see all the regions on the map in a drop down? Um, probably not. <laughs> as, as I understand it, there are many thousands of regions on the map. Um, so no, that's probably not. Yeah. Thanks, Lucy. 27,000 in a drop down. Nope. I'm, I'm probably not going to make that. Uh, have the search guys made any proposals? Yes, they have. And we just uh, approved the, the first set of those. So we're going to start moving forward with those. Uh, I can elaborate a little bit. Sure. Um, the, the one that we're moving forward with right now is um, a way to... Uh, kind of track the relevance of uh, you know a given search results so basically what it'll do is it will start it's a whole system that will start tracking you know user searched for x and here were the results that were provided user then cho you know chose action y uh, after give, having been given that search uh, that you know that list of search results um, so maybe it is they chose the first search, you know, the first search result, which would imply to us that, hey, that was super relevant. Or maybe it is they scrolled down and, you know, chose the hundredth result. Well, okay, fair enough. Um, that then gives us the understanding that if they had searched for apples and then they, you know, went all the way down to the hundredth result that we provided for apples, maybe that hundredth result is more relevant for a search of apples than what we provided at number one. So then once we have that engine in place, that will start feeding back into um, the, the engine that is providing the search results itself. Uh, so 
that's a, a bit complicated, but it is the easiest way to explain the first big piece that we're talking about. Are we going to bind search terms to users? So when they actually visit a place, those terms are correlated with the place's name description. Uh, I don't think we are going to specifically bind specific search terms to specific users, no. Maybe I'm misunderstanding that question. Have um, something I didn't think about until just now. So when I'm using the marketplace search, there's no way to type in new keywords and keep the same filters that are previously there. Is that something that would be possible? So yeah. like if I wanted to look at, um, or sorry, no, do you answer? Yeah, no, I, th I think that's absolutely so. You know, I've searched for apples. I've got been delivered a whole mess of things that fall under apples, and then now I want to throw in a new term of tree and just search within that already existing list to try and find actual apple trees. Is that well, like that pair that um, you well? Like, let's say I just wanted copy mod items. And I search um, for with with a specific keyword, but then I want to mm -hmm. change the keyword, but I still want to keep copy mod items. When you click on oh, search, it resets your settings. Gotcha, gotcha. So you just want sticky uh, filtering. Yes. Yeah, I think that's certainly something that we could uh, potentially implement. Good feature request. Please submit. Okay. As long as bots exist, it won't. Uh, let me look at this picture to see get context on what you're talking about there. Maybe. Come on, trackpad. <laughs> that scroll is amazing. If anybody's not looking at that picture, I highly recommend it just for the giggle. Um, okay, so as much as that amused me, uh, what is the question there, Dantia? That image, I think, is back to the um, in viewer. You can see everything listed in a drop down. Oh, I see. Uh, I mean, I hear you, <laughs> and 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 maybe, maybe um, the the things that the viewer is is able to handle and the things that websites are able to handle might be different. Um, I'm making zero promises there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I get it. Uh, you you want to be able to see all twenty seven thousand regions on on a single web page i i, I just think can you that remind that... us what you said you'd want to do with it dantia yeah like that's why a would that question. be useful to you so like just choose a a region at random pop in from the drop down what if we instead gave you a function that just said teleport me randomly it would be cool if that function let, already knew whether or not you could go there before giving you the random selection. Right. So that's that's kind of the what I was thinking. So instead of just giving you a giant drop down of twenty seven thousand items, if what you're actually looking for is the ability to randomly teleport to a region without knowing beforehand what that region was, what if I just gave you that? 
Yeah. Okay. I think that's a much better feature. Yeah, slingshot, exactly. The I feel lucky button. Teleport roulette. Okay, where on the roadmap is email text supported MFA? Uh, pff, Lucy, it's on it. I don't know exactly where. Um, it's, I know. I know. It's what I want to. It's one of those things that is, um, we're still trying to get the, the current implementation of MFA applied to all of our properties, and then we can start expanding. So it's a little bit of, you know, how fast can we eat this, this elephant? It's a big elephant. It may not be that expensive to find a vendor. It might be that expensive to implement a vendor. But I don't know the answer to that. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, if that's the question, is it really that expensive to implement a vendor? Um, Yes, actually, it is. <laughs> um, I, I have 10 years now of experience uh, trying to create new things in the SL code base. And uh, yes, it is, in fact, that difficult. Uh, it is not the reason why email text was not the default price uh, is not as complexity was, which I suppose in a roundabout way is in fact price because we have to pay people to handle a complexity, but that's very roundabout. It is more useful to think of our MFA implementation as it exists right now as a proof of concept as opposed to a complete system. So if you think about it in that way, it was easier to implement the, what we have thus far in order to prove out that the rest of it is, is possible. Uh, and yes, I agree with you. That was my argument too. Um, the, the QR codes and all that other stuff is, um, it's an extra, it's an extra hurdle that I don't love. Uh, I'm, I would also prefer text and, and email. We're getting there. Trust me. I'm pushing on it. Uh, in regards to email notification for new sign-on from a new computer, has additional information such as viewer OS geolocation been considered? Yes. Also, what about a way to list and turn and in turn disassociate or revoke devices since allegedly offer this ability? Uh, yeah, it's possible. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure how that would be implemented. Uh, I'd have to look into that. But it seems like a a reasonable request to make for some definition of reasonable. Thanks, Miles. Take care of you. Which is a good heads up. Uh, we have three minutes. I will be ending this on time because I have another one. <laughs> when is the last name selection list going to finally be, be alphabetized? Uh, 
November 17th at 9.18 a.m. SLT. Tantia, I am, uh, I will answer it. Yes, I have been told, but I will follow that up with, I do not have time to talk about it here in two minutes. So I do know. Keith, you can ask anything you like. You don't even have to tell me that it's somebody else. Take credit. Pretend it's your question. Or don't. Please do. Is that the copy and paste? Ask them to fix this called plus mess link. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, land impact calculations? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a server thing. I can't do anything about that. I don't know how those are calculated. One minute. Okay, three o'clock. This is time. I do have to move on uh, to my next one. Thank you all for coming for March. I will see you all in April. Uh, I do not have homework for you this week or this month because, well, because I don't. Neener, neener. We'll just have to do it on the fly next month. But I look forward to having some cool stuff to announce next month. I really do. I think we're going to be able to start talking about very specific dates, values, all the stuff. Cheers.